Alright, so the second planet of the game is Catacrom 4. This one's a really fun planet. It's pretty easy, got a lot of movement. So, there's not much to really learn here. But we'll still go over it anyways. So, first mission is Valley of Heroes. So this one's easy. So, here's the movement that I would recommend doing for the nicest experience. So you're going to charge, equip the Vulcan Cannon, and then land. And then you're going to charge again and fire to get rid of these Blade Balls. Now charge, lag cancel onto the slope. And then you're just gonna hyper strike and make it over the, uh, make it over this, make it over that gap. So very easy chain of movement. This is what I recommend for the nicest experience because you don't want the blade balls to get in your way, and you want to obviously make it to the end quick, quick, quicker. Um, so uh, for this jump pad, be careful because uh, I don't entirely know what causes this, and I cannot consistently replicate it. Uh, the jump pad can sometimes give you not enough height. You won't get sufficient height. You'll like get enough height to like reach around that area where I was grazing just now. So whenever I hyper strike, I always like hold the left analog stick forward. So like this. So I'll make it past Valley of Heroes. Charge, hyper strike. And then I move forward just like a tiny bit just to be sure to I can mitigate this. So that's Valley of Heroes, very easy level. On the prowl, move to the right, charge and shoot, and then charge and shoot, or not shoot, you don't have to shoot this time. If you don't make it to this side, if you somehow fall down here, what you can do is you can just flail cancel or pause tech or any other way of getting over here. So now go over here, and then at some point you want to equip the supernova. So what I would recommend equipping the supernova is over here when you do this charge. And you can equip the magma cannon again so that you can finish doing the movement here. And now there's two ways to do this next mission all aboard the Landstalker. So first I'm going to show off the easier method because um, the easier method involves a strat that you can't do on mission restart. So yeah, so if you're going to do the easier method, have the supernova ready, charge into the swing shot, uh, go to the right to finish the mission out, and then you're going to hold R1 as you begin the next mission. And what this will do is it'll wipe out uh, this first orb and now you can just move along Just hold down R1 button and hold down the L1 button to have the mortars ready And then when you come across this first orb, you can just aim at it and destroy it So hold L2 and R2 to sidestep obviously just in case you weren't aware that was the thing you could do When you get onto the bridge make sure you watch your step the last thing you want is to lose your run to uh, uh, Not knowing where you're going and then that'll be the end of the level now, if you want to do the faster method, you can do this. So as you can see, I just got out of the Land Stalker, but how? The game doesn't allow you to do that. Well, this is the frame perfect trick, but it's actually not that difficult to do. It's pretty easy to time. So first you want to be holding right on the analog stick, on the left analog stick to make sure Ratchet will move to the right. And then you have to press triangle on the fade out when you restart the mission. So. This is very easy to uh, this is very easy to do, but you are still gonna um, you are still gonna have attempts where you fail. So as you can see, I was mistiming my triangle input there, which is why it looked like Ratchet would appear for a frame and then just pop back into the Landstalker. You are gonna have to practice this for a few minutes, but eventually, once you get the hang of it, it won't be too much of an issue anymore. So, yeah. Some people time it way too early. Like I've had people that press triangle around here. So try not to do that. You got to really know when to uh, time the triangle input. Uh, also keep in mind that um, if you're playing on an HDD, that strut's going to be a little bit harder because of the inconsistent loads. Uh, and if you're on PS2, which I, for the love of God, please don't play on PS2. But if you are, uh, that strut's just going to be difficult as well due to the really long loading times. I should also mention that the supernova strat I showed you with the slower method where you hold R1 um, as the mission starts isn't possible on PS2. So, anyways, as for the movement, once you're out of the Landstalker, fire once to break this orb, then you're gonna charge over here. The supernova has an issue where it just will not fire despite the fact that you are clearly pressing R1, and this mission is prone to having that happen. So, the workaround, and this is a very easy workaround, it's basically just it all fits right in perfectly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna charge, you're gonna jump, and then you're gonna fire once you do the jump. And what this will do is it'll destroy both of these orbs and you won't have to worry about the Harbinger jamming. 
So pull out the magma cannon and then charge and cancel off the slope. You can bonk up the slope, so that's why I say to cancel the charge. Then get over here. And you have to be in the air for this uh, trigger to work. So you know, if, you're, if you're wanting to do movement, you, you got to flail cancel to a double jump up here. This trigger doesn't work unless you're in the air. Next is the arena level. So this arena level is pretty complex. So um, if you want to, you could just like spam the Leviathan flail, but that's in my opinion, not something you should do. You should try and learn the arena levels. So start off, um, swap to the Leviathan flail and kill these three zombies to the right. Then go back and kill the zombies behind you. Make sure you use your mini map. And you're gonna count five swarmers and you're gonna kill all five swarmers. If you want, you can pull out the Hunter Mine Launcher. I like to place six mines around here. This takes care of some zombies that you might not be able to attack later on. Kill these swarmers with the Vulcan Cannon. And once you see zombies spawning out, do some aerial attacks. On to round three. Now just go in a counterclockwise rotation um, and kill all the zombies. If you miss any, the Hunter Mine Launcher can take care of it for you. Once you kill these zombies, pull out the Fusion Rifle, snipe that dropship, and once again, round four, similar to round three. Once you get to round five, do another aerial attack and you're done. So, very easy level for the first two missions for uh, Valley of Heroes and On the Prowl. Just really flesh out your movement. Same for All Aboard the Landstalker if you do Landstalker skip. For Rise Up, I'll go over this one more time. So, have the Leviathan flow out. Take out the three to the right, then take out the two behind you. Once you have five swarmers, um... Put out some mines if you wish. You have plenty of time to put out mines before you have to worry about killing the swarmers. Turn around, kill them, and then uh, you only have to kill those three before the zombies start spawning. Do the aerial attacks because the area mods will give you enough uh, splash damage to take out enemies in front and behind Ratchet. So round three, get these two on the left, then try and get all the ones to the right. Snipe the dropship. Same thing for round four. Try and stay in the middle so that you can do an aerial attack for round five. So yeah, Catacromp is a very easy planet. It's a very fun planet in my opinion. Uh, just practice the shit out of it and you'll get really good times.